Today we do the time with a whole new batch of food crime. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We've done a couple episodes now addressing the most particularly wicked food crimes on the internet. We thought they'd have learned their lesson by now. But in the words of the Batman, food crimes don't sleep and neither do we. That's right. We are Food Batman. Well, yeah, if Batman were to taste two villains and say which one tasted worse, then we would be Food Batman. Yes. Yes. It's time for You're Under Arrest for Food Crimes Most Heinous. How dare you make cereal out of orange juice and pig anus? A food crime is a uniquely offensive dish that someone has actually had the gall to create and share photos of online, only to receive immense backlash from the public who declare them crimes against good taste. So... We posted a series of face-offs between food crimes found online, and you, the jury of Mythical Beasts, voted on which dishes you thought were the more disgusting offender of the two, a.k.a. which ones you would least like to eat. The Mythical Kitcheneers have recreated those food items for us, and we're going to be tasting both of them. We'll compete to guess which one we think you said was worse. Points escalate each round. The loser's going to have to eat a surprise superfood crime created by the Mythical Kitchen the food bane to our food Batman. Okay, let's bring those first two dishes in on the bat plates. Let's start off by putting fish where it shouldn't be. Okay. The filet of fish cookies and cream ice cream sandwich (laughs) versus canned sweet chili tuna on a Kit Kat bar. Uh, This is exactly what it looks like. It's cookies and cream ice cream on a filet of fish sandwich. There's nothing much much to it. Well, okay, this was originally posted on Twitter, and then shared on Reddit. The original tweet read, fish filet plus cookies and cream ice cream, it's a Mississippi thing. Well, think about it Maybe it's good. Tartar sauce is creamy. Maybe okay. you want it to be cold. That helps. Maybe like, add Oreos. I mean, this is gonna be dripping, man. I'm going for it. I'm gonna get a real bite here. There's already cheese on it. It's not as bad as you, want, as you think you want it to be. I don't want it to be bad. I just know it's stupid. It's stupid, and I do not prefer it, but it's not making me gag. I thought I would immediately no. gag. It but doesn't have that, like, French fry. I, that's all yes. I could think, was that that's what they were thinking. It does have that. It does? It, but the fish really throws yeah. it on. Like, like French fry and a frosty Yeah. Thing? I mean, yeah. maybe, but yeah. I There's think that's fish the, in that here. is the principle that they are operating uh, uh, under in Mississippi. <laughs> But I mean, if you if you direct your attention over here. Oh, I have. I mean, this like looks like a CSI scene. <laughs> well, what would you say it happened? <laughs> what crime has been committed? There was a grinder involved. Oh gosh. And what's left of a human hand? hand. Now, f- how did this happen? This is a lot, and this is exactly how it was posted on Facebook and then shared on Reddit. That's all we know about it. So, I'm gonna break me off a piece so I can get to the middle of it. Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta get one that's loaded. This is like some sort of chili spice tuna, right? Yeah. I mean, th- there is precedent for this. Oh yeah, okay. In Let's Singapore, there is a tuna flavored can of cat food called Kit Kat. That's as close as we can get to making sense of this. Well, maybe somebody got confused. Dink it. Sink it. The sweet chili helps. It really does. Get that chocolate in there. It's better than that. It's better than the filet of fish. How is it better than that? But it is. <laughs> it's not as offensive. But this Nicole, did really... you actually taste one of these when Absolutely you made it for us? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Absolutely not. You just not. looked at it. Yeah. Well, it tastes good. You should try it. But well, which one did you think it was It tastes a... good compared to that. Mm-hmm. Which one did you think was a bigger food crime? Because you guys don't have the benefit of tasting it when you vote on it. i got to take that into account. Mm, uh... Okay, I'm ready. Three, Three two... What? what? I think that the idea of tuna just being dollop yeah. on top of chocolate. Is Stevie, nastier. you helped us out with your rationale about the the frosty and fries. Well, I don't know how much I helped you because fifty one percent. Oh no! Come tight. on! It was super tight. Of the mythical beast thought that the mm. fish fillet and cookies and cream ice cream sandwich was the bigger food crime. Well, I mean, well, it turns out you're correct. That's within the the. Uh, what do you call it? The range of error. What's the um, what, what? What is the political term? The, st- the political statistical error. 
the I, um, I went to engineering school, but I haven't done it for a long standard time. Standard range of deviation. Yeah, that thing, you know. Okay, now we got some real low lives who straight up disrespected the most angelic of food, beans. Oh. We got baked beans with strawberries and a blueberry smoothie with agave black tea chickpea boba, to be exact. Strange. All right, let's 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 start with this beans and strawberries, okay? This was spread all over the internet, Reddit, Facebook, Imgur. 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 Imgur? Yeah, it's like an image. Er. Imgur. Uh, but it was originally posted back in 2017 on Facebook by De Mayer's Barbecue Restaurant in Kansas City. Um, the photo has no explanation and two likes. Okay, that's all, hey, that's all it takes to get on the show. This is apparently one of those any and everything moments. Uh, so let's dig into it. Well, and we're making it like the, the picture, so there's some celery in there. I'm gonna focus on the strawberry and the beans together because I, I feel think like you that's gotta the have, real... the celery is a bad idea, so I, that's why it uh, needs to be okay. in the it's spoon. It's gonna overpower it. Okay, here That's we go. a big piece of celery, too. Ah. I mean. A little the... bit of sweetness from the strawberries, but who cares? The beans are good. The beans are carrying, doing most of the heavy lifting here. Mm -hmm. The look on your face, I feel like is unnecessary, but. It's honest. I don't think that the strawberries are doing bad things for it, but they're not doing anything for it. Like it's just what a little bit. What about this look? Of, yeah, that's a good look. It's just a little bit of sweetness, but it's just kind of a, just a dumb idea. I just think it's just a dumb idea. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's horrible. Let's talk about this. Okay, so this was actually posted on Bush's Baked Beans Instagram account. And they, they said, y'all having a hard time dealing with that boba tea shortage? Apparently there was a boba tea shortage. I didn't know about it. And the way that Bush has decided to respond to that was to put this recipe out. It's got their chickpeas. And we did a little further digging on Reddit and found this. Chunky Puppy Kitty commented, someone forward this to GMM, make Rhett happy. And then Final Boy said, he would lose his mind. There are the garbanzos down in here. You just can't see them because uh, uh, they're obfuscated by this the boba. I, I this is news to me about the chickpea, the bushes chickpea. Uh, I didn't know they had them. I'll be oh, honest with shoot. you. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna blow out one chickpea, um, and I blew I blew stuff everywhere. You, you had a full blowout. <laughs> I blew blue stuff everywhere. Um, the problem hit you guys. The problem with this is that you can't get a chickpea through the straw. <laughs> Yes, you can. <laughs> you did? I did. You got to suck real hard. Now. Oh, I mean, it's a totally different experience than I got two that time. The the bubbles in the bottom, but it's not bad. I like a good garbanzo. The garbanzo is actually super complimentary to it's this. It's earthy, and it kind of adds to the sense of health and well being of having this smoothie. Can you get one through your straw? I got four I, now. I've been trying and trying, dude. I think, of course, this is so much better than that. Um, but what did you think taste sans, sans taste? Sans taste. Do, do, what? I think this seems like a bigger crime. Yeah, but you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my answer. One percent of the mythical beasts thought of the beans and strawberries yeah. was the bigger food crime. Yeah, because you've already I, got the tapioca sort of flavor in the bottom of, this isn't much of a departure. And you know what, Bush's beans, yep. they can do no wrong in my heart. <laughs> Quick reminder that Good Mythical Evening is coming up soon. Remember, this is a live ticketed event. It's gonna be a lot like GMM, but for mature audiences only. Ooh, Safe to say it's gonna be like nothing we've ever done before. It's all going down on October 28th. Tickets are on sale now. Get yours at goodmythicalevening.com. Now, how hard is it to put something good between two slices of bread? Apparently harder than I thought. Yep. Because we have a green olive and Nutella sandwich facing off against a peanut butter and lime jello sandwich. I'm excited. H how? Okay, this green olive <sighs> and Nutella sandwich originally posted uh, in August by Training Error with a caption that says, my friend's choice for breakfast after camping. <laughs> I mean, listen. I mean, are you back at home, or are you st is it just the morning of camping? Well, it looks like there's some there's dirt. There's dirt. Yeah, there, this is this wild is, camping. This you is know, still you bring camping. your Nutella, you bring your olives, you bring your bread, now, and you get desperate. One notable comment from uh, Kunan on this post was simply "poop from a butt." 
Uh, I don't know if it looks like this could be poop from a butt or is this gonna cause poop from a butt? All I know is I'm gonna slice it and I'll make you happy with a diagonal slice. Oh, thank you. Oh gosh, I'm about to. That's a fancy slice there. Now, I know you're not excited about this. No, not at all. At least the hard thing's not in the olive anymore, right? I don't wanna lose a tooth. The hard thing known as the pit? I don't like to know things about things that I don't like to like. God, <laughs> salty Nutella. I mean, if you don't like an olive and it's in anything, you gonna know it and okay. you're not gonna like it. Something interesting is happening here. It's almost like a mole situation. The way that the chocolate and the, and the super like savoriness of the olives mix them together. Like, I didn't think I would like this even though I like olives. I don't like it and I wouldn't do it, but while camping, your standards are so different. I do get that. You don't know if you're gonna make it home? Right, maybe you've lost a limb. Yeah. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but this. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't think it was as bad as I thought it would be either. Well, Peanut chocolate butter. covers a world of hurt. We already knew that. It does, yeah. man. Uh, posted on Reddit by someone whose username is not safe for work, but let's just say it's- But we're not at work. <laughs> it starts with polymer, and the second part starts with a P and is technically the name of uh, another word for cat. Oh, technically? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, if this were Good Mythical Evening, I would just, just be saying. I'd just be saying it. over and over again, and we'd be saying a lot about it. <laughs> right, I might even be drawing pictures of but it. But you got to buy a ticket to that show. Who knows what's going to happen? Um, so that person said, "I also noticed in the pic a dog hair on the right half of the sandwich. I definitely ate that." <laughs> so, uh, do we have a dog hair? You have it on both sides of the sandwich. I thought you were gonna say no. No, you guys are special. And where did of the, course where, you where put did this it on dog there. hair come from? What? Oh, I see it right there. You see that? Whose dog? It's just it's sticking out. My dog, Parker. <laughs> Parker. <laughs> Parker. Is he? Well, is Parker still with us? <laughs> because the way you Did said you it was sad? like you said it like your Parker was only a memory. No, I just I get, Parker makes me feel nice things. It makes you feel nice things. I mean, I guess I should eat it because that's part of it. I have extras. No, 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 it's no, okay. No, 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 I have extras. No, come on, no, no, come no on, it's okay. On, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Parker likes to lick my feet. How did you? Harvest these hairs. Don't worry about it. Well, that's a, that, that's a long one. Here you go. And then, I'm not eating that. Here's my, it's just a dog hair. You eat them all the time. Jelly and Jello, very similar. I can see where this could happen. Sands the dog hair. It could be like it's my catch word today. Sands. A late night, like just reading error. Bang it, bang it. Hmm. Parker. Parker the hair in my mouth. Parker at all. Yeah. It's actually not bad. This is pretty fun. And I like the fact that it feels colder than jelly. And I bet you, you liked it too. Let's vote. Three, two, three, one. I mean, this Boop. has got- Yeah, it's gotta so be. So many people don't like olives. You gotta, gotta, be you gotta know this is bad, right? I mean, I don't know if we advertise the hair part of the other sandwich to be fair, but 72% yeah. of Mythical Beasts thought that the green olive and Nutella sandwich yeah. was the bigger food crime. Pretty we got easy. your number on this round. Yeah, yeah, we know you, we know you. Pick up. Okay, is anybody's game going into this final round? How are you feeling about this one? Not great. Hmm. I feel like it's targeted directly at me, yeah. and I don't like it. I can see that. We got microwave scallops cooked with blue cheese crumbles, canned spinach, canned mushrooms, hot dogs, eggs, and Italian dressing. How? Why? <laughs> Versus tomato pudding on a bed of sauerkraut. Mmm. Some nasty seafood stuff versus, and blue cheese versus some sort of tomato thing. I hate it, let's eat them. Okay, this was originally posted by the Psycho Leech. I think they posted it, they had made it a long time ago in 2014. It said, don't remember how it tasted. And then Sorry Card uh, commented, they don't remember how it tastes because they probably blacked out after the first few bites. And I can tell you by just the smell alone, I might enjoy some of the things in this, <laughs> but the thought, and buddy, you're gonna need a spoon for this one. <laughs> Your fork is not gonna cut it. I'm gonna get, okay, I got a hot dog, I got a mushroom. Is that a piece of pineapple? There's also, pop, it, it, they, in this, they called it pop spinach. What is that? Yeah, what? so there was a little bit of a debate in the mythical kitchen, and uh, some people said that it's like spinach from a can, like Popeye's brand spinach, and some people said that it's like soda pop, and spinach? No, it's just so. they just. I just think it's just spinach. You think so? Canned. Taste it. Let me know. Well, what did you put soda in it? Taste it. Let it me doesn't know. matter if it you did or not. At this point, it doesn't matter. I thought that that was pineapple, but that's the scallop. Yeah. 
It looks like a little bit of Parker carried over into this room. Yeah, and there's also Parker here. Pa- I don't yeah. think Parker would eat this. Oh my gosh. <coughs> oh god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh, that's horrible. <laughs> oh. I'm food Batman. <laughs> I'm food Batman. Uh, let me cover that up with some. Uh, I hate myself right now. <laughs> tomato uh, pudding. What is it? Maybe this is better. Tomato pudding on a bed of sauerkraut. Uh, apparently, tomato pudding is a southern dish. Um, it because it was featured in the magazine Southern Living and Garden and Gun. Oh, Garden and Gun. For real. Oh, that's my favorite magazine. Never had it though. Uh, but this was made and posted on Reddit by a German, and that's why there's uh, sauerkraut, sauerkraut all around. Yeah. I mean, that's what they said. So some sort of this doesn't seem bad to me. Taste, and you don't really mind tomato flavored things as much as you don't like tomatoes. Anything to cover that up it doesn't cover it up. It just complicates it. <laughs> that's not bad. I mean, I didn't, I didn't spit it up. <laughs> But I'm not going in for more like you are. I kind of like it. All right, clearly this is worse. Which did you think would be worse? And it all comes down to this with escalating points. I can still win. You can still win. Three, two, one. I mean, this I mean, has to be. Come on, but don't you want to just make it interesting? No, I want to win. <laughs> oh. Because I'd have to eat something nasty. Yeah. If I lose. Yeah. Are you afraid of that? Yeah. You're, you're scared? Yeah. You little scared little boy. I'm a scared little boy. You you shaking in your boots? Shaking right in my boots. Oh, you want to call your mommy? Yeah, I'm oh. She's. I got, I'm butt dialing her right now. All you got to do is change this and you have That's a chance. That's mine. Did you say you were butt dialing her right now? Yeah, like, I, it was I like an a, active choice. I have choice? a thing that if I clench my right butt cheek only, it dials my mom. 75% of a mythical beast thought that the... Microwave scum surprise was the bigger food crime. All right, uh, Nicole. I'm sorry, bro. Bring man. in my super food crime. What the crap is this? That's a protein blaster 5000. <laughs> oh, I've heard of that. No, you haven't cuz I made it. Protein blaster 5000. Yeah. What's in it? So it's bananas, protein powder, and mayonnaise. Oh, oh, mayonnaise. Okay, well. I'll be drinking this in Good Mythical More. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name is Lucy from Boston, Massachusetts, and I love umeboshi. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. She's suffering. She's suffering, she but she like, doesn't she want like to admit cool it. She looks like a around. Cool. Click the top link to watch us pick the worst, or maybe the best, black licorice flavored candy in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Tickets are on sale now for Good Mythical Evening, the live Mature Audiences Only event happening on October 28th. Get yours at goodmythicalevening.com.